I love this show. Another great season. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about The Bear, season two. Watched it on Hulu. 10 episodes this time around rather than eight from season one. Most episodes are around 30 minutes, except episode six, which is about an hour. So it picks up where season one left off. The shop is closed at the moment and they are trying to open a restaurant. So they are trying to figure out what they need to open this restaurant. And it's a lot of work. Michael, you know, Carmi's brother, he was not running the shop in the right way. The shop is a piece of crap. So, you know, they have to go through all these inspections and everything to to be able to open. And if anything can go wrong, everything goes wrong. Like everything is just down bad. There's mold. There's problems with plumbing, electrical. If you can inspect it, it was probably messed up and they have to figure out a way to fix it because I don't know how they was functioning in that shop. And, you know, while they're they're bonding together, you can see everything that they work for in season one in terms of becoming like a family it's here in season two just the way they talk to each other is different richie is still a little you know fiery but he he's trying to do better and he understands that he might be pushed out because he doesn't really have a purpose he's not like an excellent chef like carmy or sin and it's just you see each character trying to find their place in this this new space and different episodes focus on different characters which is really cool they still come together and you know banter and yell and curse at each other but it's not as extreme as season one was where every episode it felt like everybody was just cursing at each other 100 miles per hour trying to figure stuff out they now have those battles it's usually about something about fixing the restaurant and it's not as chaotic and it always seems to be coming from a good place you know trying to find answers but there are episodes where You just lock in with the character like you have a a sydney episode where you see her going around trying to get advice about opening up a restaurant tasting different things we definitely see a lot more food in this particular season from a lot of different places and you know she's trying to come up with this menu because carmy you know put her in charge and it's really cool to see sydney and tina tina hated sydney in season one for a long time and early on they have this conversation and Tina hugs her and it's just like, look where they came from. And I love Tina in this particular season because she is so happy because she gets to learn. She loves learning. And as they are, you know, opening this restaurant, they ask her to go take, you know, some cooking classes. And she's so excited to go and to just learn and work on her craft. And it's a particular scene where she needs a knife and she's like, you know, she asks Carmi, can she get a knife? And he's like, he tells her where it's at and she gets it. And she's like, this is your knife. And the knife looks beautiful. And Carmi was like, yeah, go ahead. And when she gets it, she's so happy and excited. And she opens, you know, she takes the blade out and she's like, wow. And, you know, she just loves the learning. So Tina is fantastic in this season. We spend time with Marcus. Marcus travels to Copenhagen because he has to come up with new desserts, new recipes. And he has a lot of things going on in his life which anyone would be like, I can't go, but he wants to learn and he wants to help this restaurant out. And it's a great trip for him, a great learning experience. And even though he doesn't get everything right the first time, just his determination. And I like his mindset of asking certain questions, you know, when the chef is like, you should do this. And he's like, can I ask why? And you know, the chef breaks it down. He's like, okay, cool, I got it. And it's, it's just cool watching them grow from season one to this season just they know they're doing something spectacular with trying to open a restaurant and it's very different from the shop and how chaotic it was and it's just i love it i love seeing it now episode six the longest episode and episode seven are probably the two best episodes and they are very different in tone if you're looking for the the yelling and the cursing that you got in season one that's what episode six is it's more of a flashback episode it's the longest episode of the season it definitely has season one vibes to it because it's chaotic it's in your face characters are yelling and cursing at each other with not uh not from a happy place it's a lot of just like yo why are you here and i'm gonna yell at you 
Seven is more Richie focused and it's just a different tone, but it's so good because you see Richie fight with himself. Essentially, he doesn't want to do, you know, what he's tasked to do in this episode. And he's fighting with himself and he's fighting with other people. And then he finally understands, you know, he has a purpose. And it's it's just watching the growth of Richie that's so much fun. It Carmi in this one, I wouldn't say he's on the back burner, but it does allow the other characters to shine as Carmi is still dealing with trying to open a restaurant. He meets somebody from his past and he's trying to have this relationship with her and he's trying to help sit out with certain things. He's just like sprinkled all like around in each episode with different characters, but it's not essentially focused just on him and what he has to go through. I think they did a better job of bringing just the team together and watch them grow individually and then come together uh, to try to do something different that they, you know, that they all wanted to do. And it was it was fun. It's a lot of fun. It's some fun episodes where you're just laughing. There's episodes where it's like, it's a little sad. And you're like, dang, that was tough. The last episode was, thought it was really good. Thought it was incredible. It's a fun season of television. If you've seen season one, definitely check out season two. The Bear on Hulu. Those are just my thoughts. Don't spoil anything in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Deuces.